Hey everyone, today we're talking about the brand new Linux Mint 22.2 codename Zara. If you've been using Linux Mint or you're thinking about trying it, this update is one you'll want to know about, but there's a twist. This is beta software, which means it's still in testing. So before you run and install it everywhere, let's go over what it actually is, what's new and why you may or may not want to try it right now. First, a quick refresher for beginners. Linux Mint is one of the most popular Linux operating system for desktops and laptops. It's based on Ubuntu, which means you get a huge software library, easy updates and long-term support. Mint is especially famous for being beginner-friendly. The desktop looks familiar if you're coming from Windows, it's stable and it's just comfy to use. This new version is Linux Mint 22.2 codename Zara, and it's a long-term support release. That means once it's stable, it will get updates and security fixes in till 2029. Now, here is the important part. Right now, we are talking about the beta version. Beta means the main team has finished most of the features and changes, but they're still hunting for bugs and issues before calling it stable. If you install it now, expect glitches, crashes or weird behavior. This is not for your main computer that you need to work every day. Instead, it's for testing so the community can report problems and help fix them before the final release. So, what's new in 22.2? Well, this update is mostly about refinements. Small but nice changes that make the desktop more comfortable. The main team says it comes with updated software, design tweaks and quality of life improvements across the board. If you want to see every tiny detail, you can check the release notes on the Linux Mint webpage, but the short version is the following. The Cinnamon desktop gets smoother animations and better settings. Apps are updated to newer versions for better stability and features. Small interface changes make it easier to find settings and work faster. Basically, Mint isn't trying to reinvent the wheel here, it's just making the wheel roll smoother. If you're wondering whether your computer can run it, here are the official system requirements. 2 gigabits of RAM minimum, but 4 gigabits or more is recommended. 20 gigabits of disk space minimum, but 100 gigabits is recommended for comfort. A screen resolution of at least 1024 by 768. If it's smaller, you can still use it, but you'll have to drag Windows around with the Alt key to see everything. So, even older laptops can handle it, just remember, this is the beta, so stability is not guaranteed yet. If you're already on Linux Mint 22.1 or you just want to help test 22.2, you can install the beta you'll be able to upgrade from this beta to the stable release later without reinstalling. And yes, if you're still on 22.1, an upgrade path will be available after the final release. Right now, though the Mint team really wants testers, people who can install it, play around with it, and report any problems they find. So, how do you report bugs? The Mint team uses GitHub. You can go to their Mint 22.2 beta page and create an issue for each bug you find. Here is the key. Be specific. Say if the bug happens always or just sometimes. Mention what triggers it. And if it doesn't happen in other versions of Mint or Linux, point that out. The more info you give, the easier it is for the developers to fix the issue. If you're brand new to Linux, I recommend waiting for the stable release before installing 22.2. That way you get all the polish without the rough edges. But if you're curious, have a spare computer or just love testing new stuff, go ahead and try it. You'll be helping Mint become even better. So that's the quick overview of Linux Mint 22.2 Zara. It's not a huge revolutionary update, more like a fine tuning of an already great system. But it's exciting to see Mint continue to improve. If you want to try it, you can download the beta from the official Mint website. And if you find bugs, report them you'll be part of the team making Linux Mint better for everyone. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you're testing Mint 22.2 or if you're waiting for the stable release. See you in the next one.